hello guys so in this video Rifki and I will do a summary of the nightingale and the rose enjoy in this short story a male student who always spend time with his book fall in love with a young woman she says she will dance with him at the ball if he brings her a red rose he looks over for a red rose but none to be found the nightingale a romantic and creative creature who loves to sing is deeply moved by the student's vibe and wishes to help her out. She flies all over seeking a red rose, but like all other students, she has her own difficulties. When she finally finds a, rest, a red rose tree, um, it is damaged by the cold weather. Uh, this rose tree tells her that the only way to grow a new red rose is for the uh, nightingale to sacrifice, to sacrifice herself. Um, she must pierce herself on one of the rose thorns so that her blood can flow into the plant and color the rose red. Although agonized at the choice, the nightingale does this. She dies in pain but singing a beautiful song. The student then finds a stunning red rose. He offers to his beloved but then she rejected it as it doesn't match her dress. But truth to be told, another student offered her jewels. And bitter about love, the student casts the rose aside. He then returns to his book. All in all, this story is about sacrifice the artist makes to bring beauty to the world, only to have it despised and cast away by people who doesn't understand its worth. There are three themes found in this short story. The first one is sacrifice. When Nightingale sees the student crying for his sweetheart, her wholehearted belief in love compels her to help the boy. So she decided to help him and goes out looking for a red rose. After searching it everywhere, she comes to know a way about getting a red rose. She has to give her heart's blood to a white flower to make it red. She believed that it is worth giving her life for the sake of true love. The second one is love. In the story, the nightingale and the rose is the nature of love. In the beginning of the story, a student claims that he is in love with his professor's daughter. He is crying for a red rose. This is because she will dance with him at the ball if he gives her a red rose. Moreover, nightingale sacrificed her life for the sake of true love. This sacrifice shows that true love does exist. But at the end, no one appreciated. The third one is materialism. This theme can be demonstrated through a character of a young girl. At the beginning, her interest in the student is driven by her desire for a red rose. Later, she turns her attention to the jewels offered by another student. By portraying her in this way, Wilde suggests that materialism is an ugly and worthless attribute. Next, we move to moral value. The moral value that I got from the nightingale and the rose is we must understand what love actually is. Love is not just an emotion. It is almost way of life, an obsession. Love can make you feel wonderful, but it also can destroy you easily. I have done my part and now let us hear from Rifki. Now, is the adventure and the romantic part of the story. In the adventure part, uh, we can see in the character the nightingale itself where uh, the nightingale flew all over the garden just to look for a red rose. But instead, she found a white rose tree. The white rose tree later suggested to the nightingale to go over to his brother's place and maybe she can find what she's been looking for. And so she flew over to the brother's place and found that it's, not, it's still not a red rose. What happens next is the romantic part of the story. The romantic part of the story comes when the, the tree told the nightingale that she can still have the, uh, a red rose but she has to sing all night and pierce her heart uh, to the thorn of uh, the plant where uh, the blood from her heart will color the white rose and turn the white rose into a red rose. Uh, because of uh, the nightingale love for the student, she uh, uh, agrees and on the nightfall, uh, she would sing to the tree as she pierced herself 
uh, to the tones and color the uh, white rose in black. So I think that's all from us. Thank you.